And then one last very important trick. So let's say I want my background to be a certain image. I can go file place and I'm just going to go find an image. Um, so I'm just going to take this image and I'm going to place it on my stage. And I can now stretch the image to be the size of the stage. So I have this graphic and let's say now I really just want to showcase just this part of the design, just this part of the wing. I can take my pen tool and I'm just over top going to draw a shape. Going to hold shift here, get rid of that information so, so I get a resetted anchor point and I'm going to close my object so now I have what is called a mask so if I select the blob of vector that I just shaped and the background so if I hold shift and select both or I could just draw a square around and it'll select everything that my square is surrounding and I'll hit make clipping mask so I right click and I click make clipping mask it's going to group the objects as well as only reveal what is behind my vector shape if I want to go further edit this mask and target the pen tool points using the white arrow tool just like we've already learned.